This room from now on to be the President Ronald Reagan cabinet room. Oh, thank you are. very much. We're just I very, very honored. Honored I am by that. That's very nice. That's Goodness. very nice. You have an old friend in Yes. Yeah, we even have a friend. This was a gift that was given to me uh, when I first came into office, and we've had that here in uh, the cabinet room as well. Well. Is this the same? Uh, Want to call a cabinet meeting? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes With these, the original uh, cast? <laughs> these desks are the same uh, ones that were here uh, when you were here. Yeah. yeah. We've changed the chairs. We've uh, kind of changed the carpet a little bit. But, uh, yeah. That's the same. Yeah. Well, Mr. Yeah, President, some of the polls are dropping a little bit today. You getting worried? <laughs> <laughs> I'll just wait for night. Going to win? You know, Helen, I'm never going to say any answers. Even up to the last minute? Not up to the last, especially not up to the last. I mean, the last election, the last day, you're not going to break down and change your mind and tell us that you think you will? I'm going to change now. <laughs> Mr. President, how do you feel about it being the last day of your last campaign? Well, as I said uh, yesterday in, in Minnesota, it uh, it's a little like coming up to that last football game and realizing that uh, you've had all four years and that's the last one you're going to play in. Mr. President, if you're re-elected, will it make any difference to you knowing that you never have to worry about the uh, realities of election politics again for your last four years? Will it make a difference in the way you handle the office? No, because I haven't let it make a difference in the way I've handled it up to now. I've had a standard rule sitting around this table for eight years and the one in Washington. You mean you won't be in Lake, yet, Lake Duck on well, November 7th? I've always felt that uh, discussing the political ramifications of a measure as to whether it's good or bad for the people uh, isn't the thing to do. You what discuss would, it purely on whether it's right or wrong. What would be your priorities in a second term? Well, number one of all, of course, is peace, disarmament, and the reduction in the world of nuclear weapons on the domestic scene to continue with the policies that have led to the growth we now have to make that an ongoing expansion so that we have a growing economy that will provide jobs for the, for the people that need them. Are you going to make a move toward the Russians so that there can be some kind of arms talks? Well now, Bill, I've always made the move toward it and I've always wondered why so many people ask me, uh, what are you going to do about it? What are they going to do about it? Well, do you have anything special in mind if you're re-elected? Well, yes, we're going to pursue the fact that we've submitted four different proposals to them, four different areas of arms reduction, not control. And uh, they were the ones who walked away from the table and are going to do everything they can to see if they'll come back. Well, that's what I mean, sir, if you'll forgive me. I mean, what will you do to get them back? Do you have something in mind? Well, we won't try to buy them back by increasing offers and so forth. We'll try to convince them that it is to their advantage as well as ours to have a settlement of this particular issue. You mean you're going to stick with your proposals that are on the table? Well, we showed, we told them we're flexible on that. When they objected to some things, we immediately said, well, come back and tell us what it is you object to. Let us discuss it. And uh, they wouldn't take yes for an answer. Sir, do you think Thank you'll you. concentrate on foreign policy in your second term as much as you concentrated on domestic policy in your first term? Well, you have to concentrate on that. That's one of the prime responsibilities of that, of the federal government. Maybe a little less attention to some things the federal government shouldn't have been doing in the first place. Are you still going to have trouble with O'Neill? <laughs> Whoever has trouble. <laughs> If it isn't if it isn't too presumptuous of me, Mr. President, I think if you invited the Russians to come to California, 
they would not uh, refuse at all. They'd want to come here yes. and they'd want to visit with you. Well, it's, as I told a couple of other heads of state from Europe, too, if they'd only discovered America from this side, the capital would be in <laughs> California. <laughs> 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 so there'll be arms talks in Sacramento, is that it? <laughs> <laughs> Why like not? Does it bring back memory? Of course it does, yes. Great deal done here, but what we've left the subject that has me the most honored and impressed this morning, and I'm deeply grateful to you for this. Well, we're very honored that you're here, and uh, that from now on, anybody who comes into this room, whether they be visitors or legislators, or anyone else, uh, they will know that this is the President Ronald Reagan Cabinet Room. Yeah. I'm very proud. Very proud. Well, John Wayne is going to preside. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay. Thank you. Second question. Thanks, Mike. Thank you. Did you get it? Yeah. Come out. Five. Now we're at five. I'm going to go right out and look for a part-time job. To some of the heavyweights. And in Justin, I'm glad you came. And don't forget to get out and vote tomorrow. Ladies and gentlemen, Senator Pete Wilson.
and times before when I have stood here, including taking the state. If you're an orange, they're not saying that anymore. It is going to take place in the United States. Rather, he rather condescendingly said to me, you're in the big leagues. I kind of thought here it can catch you in your group. We knew that inflation, the quiet thieves, and record interest rates were stealing our future. Rebuild and be strong again to be prepared for peace. It was a second American revolution, and it's only just begun. And secure the peace. And do you know something? That is not debatable. Give new jobs in 21 months. Oil and gasoline prices went down eight cents a gallon. The economy in absolute perfect condition. If we can persuade, he says he cares about the legislation time after time which increases taxes on my own constituents. Doesn't that make you want to? He's no doubt proud of the fact that he voted as a United States Senator.
thank you all very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Governor Dubajan, Senator Wilson, distinguished members of the time since she was organizing bus stops. Back to that goes, that goes for save our country. And four years ago, that's what we did. We made a great turn. You helped us! Four years ago, we began to navigate by certain fixed principles. Our North Star was freedom and common sense. Now, there have been some people around in this campaign that have been suggesting that maybe we did something for some special group. Our tax cut was across the board, even, Stephen, for everyone. Yeah! It was a sec obviously murderously inflationary. And that was just before we lowered inflation from more than... And just after our tax cuts, he said the most that he could see was an anemic recovery. And that was six million new jobs in 21 months. Control oil prices down eight cents a gallon. Predict an absolute disaster. supported legislation time after time which increases taxes on my own constituents doesn't that make you just want to be one of his constituents <laughs> state senator he voted 16 times to raise your taxes $90 for every household in the United States <laughs> you know you know, all right. See in America in which every day is Independence Day, the 4th of July. I'm proud to say that during these last four years, on another subject, not one square inch of territory. sees a different world. One year ago, we liberated... Don't read them anymore. Don't get complacent. America's best days are yet to come. You ain't seen nothing yet. Thank you, and God bless you. Thank you.